Hi right, guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new series of Timberborn. Now, today, today we're going to start on this modded map. And this is actually modded by a YouTuber called Moro. Now, you should definitely check out their channel, uh, his channel, sorry. And he does great editing, he's got great content and he's got great Timberborn videos. His link will be down below. The maps link will be down below in the description and i can't find the original person that made the original map so i'll try and find it and put that link as well but if i can't you got a link to this map that's been modded and i think i'm not sure what mods or what has been modded on this map i'm not sure but something's changed so what are we going to do for this brand new series you guys are going to follow me through the journey an epic epic journey we are going to be making a modular base now you got to, you got to hear me out here the way we're going to do this is that the water comes from up here right it comes down it fills up this whole area it's all fun and dandy oh we've got this over here lovely but what i want to do is that this district could mostly reach the majority of this map I want to make, let's say like a Venice, I think it's Venice, yeah, Venice style town where we use levees to make blocks. Let's, let's try and see it here. So these are not levees, but these will sort of display what I want to do. We'll do something like that. And then another bit here like that. And water going through all of this. And we're going to have about maybe 20 blocks a, a little bit bigger than this around the whole map and that is going to be designed for our one district hopefully we can do it all in one district we may do it in more but for us to do it like this we're going to need to destroy this whole map <laughs> we're going to need to blow up pretty much every piece of mountain every piece of earth until it gets to i'm happy with this level I'm happy with this level until we get to this level. So we're going to have to destroy all of this. So that means we are going to have to make a beeline for explosives. Now I'm using the iron teeth because last episode, last series I used the folk tail. And also I like their stacking mechanics and their water wheels. And they've got bigger metal platforms, which I've been using a lot lately. Since we've had the unlimited metal, I've been using a lot of metal platforms. I've got an idea what I'm going to do with this because we're going to blow all of this up. And yeah, and it's on normal because hard is for a kind of different challenge. I just want to design something that's pretty unique. So normal will help us do that. So let's get on with it. So, okay, let's pause this actually. Where is the water coming down first? It's going to go down here. Oh, that's a nice little pool. It's going to go down here around here we need to get to these trees we need to get to this food as well so let's start this up now you guys have seen this many many a times so i'm going to quickly start up set up a starting area and we'll get on from there okay so we are now basically up and running we've got water coming out of here luckily the iron teeth have a very long water pumps i am worried though i am extremely worried because when this drought comes it's going to be difficult. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Even on normal, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Now, we had to build down here because this is the only green area. But we've got some carrots coming in. We've got some berries. Berries are extremely important for breeding. My beavers are already dying. As you can see down here, we've got one died of old age already. And I think that's because I didn't have a house fast enough because that does help with life expectancy. But we've got four water wells or water storage that should help us on the first drought that should be enough gonna get some more beavers coming in um i will pause one of these eventually because they will definitely overpopulate now as you may know the main thing i like to go for straight away is planks because we need a forester there's no ifs and buts about it we need a forester and we need to start planting trees but what we also need is science because 
we need to be out and research for our stuff, which is going to be, um, I thought it was 500 science, and I got scared. <laughs> I got scared. I thought, hang on a minute, not meant to be that big. So we need 60 science, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. And we need uh, 120 for levees. We may need to block off some areas to create bigger water storage. So if I put one levee here and one line of levees here, that will create a higher block of water here, which will keep us okay during the drought, I think. For the first couple of droughts, it would definitely help us out. But we really need to get to explosive factories. So how can we do that in the easiest possible way? We need to get some metal. There's some big chunks of metal in this. So I feel I feel like the easiest way will be to get this metal here. And that seems like a fair amount of metal there. And then we can make an explosive factory. We can start making dynamites. To make dynamites, we need paper, which is not too hard. Uh, that's here, paper mill. Cool. Yeah, that's not too difficult. So we'll need these three. And then we'll need these two. And we'll need a way to get across here. So we need planks and all that stuff. But that shouldn't be too difficult. We should be able to get there relatively quickly. And then we can start terraforming this whole place. That's going to take a lot. I mean, a lot. Thousands and thousands of explosives. But that's what we're here to do. We're here to have fun. All right. So let's get these planks going. So we can start preparing for our forester. Okay, so we're entering our first drought of this series. This is actually quite scary. <laughs> Three days. We've got 116 water. We've got, I think we've got food to last us for days. I'm not worried about the food. I am, however, worried about the water. Now, how long does that take to drain out? That's the issue. It comes out here and it comes out right there does it come out anywhere else no it doesn't look like it oh it comes out here as well but it seems like it's not pouring over so it might be a lot easier than i expected <laughs> it might be a little bit easier than i expected that i'm i'm okay with that i'm okay with that they seem to be it seems to be okay Okay, so kind of like a false alarm then. So, okay, so we can carry on with doing what we what we do best, and that's building. We've got 60 science points. We can bung this right here. And uh, let's get the builders back in there. Let's get, who can we take off? Who's not doing anything? Everyone's so busy. I can take out one science for now. Yeah, start building that. We need to get that up and running ASAP. Like, it needs to be done yesterday. That's how fast it needs to be done. And then get these pathways done. So I've got room for 20 beavers. It's in terms of passing. Oh, there we go. It's gone. We've still got half the drought left. 1.5 days. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Hopefully these don't die out. That's nine days. That's 1.6 days. It will dry out because by the time the water gets all the way around, it won't have enough. Okay, so that's built. What are we going to do next? That's the thing. What are we going to do next? So we need to make a beeline straight for dynamite, which means we're going to need gears and we're going to need a paper mill. Paper mill. We're also going to need levees, which is mostly the next thing I'm going to get. And these two. These two are going to cost a lot. That's a thousand science. I'm going to need at least three signs on at all times. So let's turn that back on. Let's actually get some more signs. Can we fit another two here? Oh, we can. Interesting. So we're getting quite a lot of planks now for that. Decent. Well, I say a lot. We're getting a decent amount. Get a decent amount. And that's just using this simple setup here. One uh, power wheel and a log cabin or a lumber mill and you can get a decent amount of planks early game. So how long we got left? 0.4 days. We've got enough water. 
we've got a hell of a lot of food. I'm okay. I'm sitting. I'm sitting good. I'm vibing. Real good. Right. So then once we've got more science going, we need to start thinking about how are we going to get to this metal over here? And what do we need to do to unlock it? So we need a scavenger flag as well. And a smart I'm so, because I've been playing the other series for so long, I'm not used to having to research things. <laughs> I'm used to already having it available. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Okay, oh, these have the efficient mine, so they can make a lot more scrap metal. But that's for a lot later. Yeah, so our main objective right now is to get science. <laughs> we need to unlock so many things. I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of things that we need to unlock. Let's get, uh, what, sh what kind of tree should we put down? Let's put some pine. And we'll also put um, some maple. But what I want to do, I want to maybe bring this like this. Now this should pretty much suit us for a while. We should be jolly with trees for now. Once that all grows, we should be absolutely wonderful. Now, how many people have I got? I've got 11, one child. Still need to build this. Once this is built, I'm gonna turn this off. In fact, we don't need planks just yet. We need science. So that one can go in there. And someone is in here, lovely. This is what I like to see, efficiency. Things getting done. That child will mostly go in here or the other science place. We're already on 100 science. That means we can nearly get levees, which is 120. We also need stairs and platforms because I wanna make this a bit, uh, I wanna block this up. I wanna block both sides up, which will help us with our droughts. That'll be pivotal to our survival. So maybe we can get a stairs here and then get some scaffolding going down here. So let's unlock a few things. All right, so now that we have planks and stairs, not planks, platforms and stairs, we can start making this a bit deeper. Well, not deeper, but putting a barrier up so we can collect a little bit more water. So this is how we're gonna do it, right? We're gonna need a lot of platforms because I've only got the level one platform. Ah, that wasn't too bad actually. Didn't even need stairs. I could have just put it all the way across. But that's four planks and two logs. Yeah, it'll be a lot cheaper to just have stairs like that. And then we can do something like levees like this. Should we on this side? You know what I'm going to do on this side? I'm going to have levees like that. And then we're going to have a dam there. So two and then some dams. So that will give us a ridiculous amount of water. Look at all of this space. We're going to do the same over here. Um, like that. Like that. But we're going to need to start making planks again. We don't have many planks. Then we're going to do like that. And like that. And to be honest, to be honest, I didn't even, oh my God. <laughs> I've got nearly five, I've actually got 500 hours in this game and I'm still making stupid mistakes. I don't need this. I don't need that. I just need to put stairs right here. Um, like that. I'm sure someone was screaming at the screen, telling me that I could do this. I can hear you, trust me, I can hear you. That's what made me do it in the first place. There we go, there we go. All right, so that is a lot more 
efficient than I thought. So we just need to get rid of this tree and then we can put a bit of path in there. Let's make that priority. And then we still will need quite, actually, we don't need that many planks because that's the only thing that needs planks, right? Yeah, we just need a lot of wood, which fortunately we have an abundance of. So, you know what? Happy days. And that will fill up with water. That will give us enough water for the next drought easily. Easily give us enough water. And we can focus on other stuff. The, way, the thing I am worried about though is this drying up. We do need to get water down there. It would have been better and must be a lot more cost effective if I just did it here. But then I'd have to do it here, here, and down here. Hmm. Hmm. We'll stick with this for now. We'll stick with this. This will at least give them some water here. And hopefully it builds up high enough for them to be some for there to be some greenery up here. And we can plant some extra crops up here if we need the extra food. So let's get let's let them do that. Okay, so we've done quite a bit. This is nearly done, which is gonna be our first sort of uh homemade makeshift um and then got this side to do also i have done all the research i need to do to get dynamites i've got these unlocked i have paper and gears unlocked and i have all the metal production that is needed unlocked we've increased the farms to make food a lot faster and water's not doing too bad you know water is not doing too bad i have Put some campfires as well because I need my children to grow up a lot faster. It was taking a bit of time before. And I realized something. I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. These are chestnut trees. I've, I thought they were maple, but they're chestnut trees. But it's kind of a blessing in disguise because I just quickly put a grill down. We're going to get some chestnuts. We had a few chestnuts before. I don't think they can actually harvest it from here. No, they can harvest these ones. You know what? You know what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Let's get that up. And then we'll move this guy to here. So that he can do a bit of berries and get all these delicious chestnuts. Because we're not chopping these down fast enough. Which is fine. We've, we are using a lot of wood, but we're just not using it fast enough. So I'm happy with that. It creates a sort of double um, reason, like sort of production. Right, you can pause. Now we're getting chestnuts and berries. Lovely. And we should be getting loads of carrots. I've got one on planting and one on harvesting. That's great. I have reduced my science now because everything else is sort of like, would will be needed eventually, but not needed right now. Maybe some of these platforms, but they're, cheap to buy so that's not too bad and i don't need to buy the big uh water tank because we're gonna make this our water tank <laughs> this is gonna be the biggest water storage ever all right but unfortunately this is all got planned for today in the next episode this should be done and we will focus on trying to get this metal so we can start getting some dynamites going and then once we get some dynamites going say goodbye to this island and say hello to the new modular base. So guys, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope to see you on the next episode. Peace.